it's Richard from Funfit Adventure. We're here today with the Bush Camp Explorer. We've done a few videos on the Bush Camp Explorer and showing you all the features, what the accessories are and how to look inside. So we're not going to do that today. We're going to talk more about the awnings that we've got for the Bush Camp. And um, we'll start with the awning that we've got above me here. And then we'll have a look at the awning on the other side, which we've just, uh, we've just been trying out over the last few days. So this is the Oztent Foxwing awning that we've got on this side of the caravan and that literally bolts onto the the front runner bars that you can get with it with the bush camp and there's lots of different side awnings that you can bolt onto these bars so this is the Oztent one which as you can see is the Foxwing one and it comes all the way around and gives us coverage all the way across the kitchen and just peels out from from this side of the of the caravan and then we put uh, we put the pools in the uh, the new models have actually got integrated pools that that drop down and uh, the other option is to get a, a similar style of awning but a one that comes just straight out to cover the side of the door but that wouldn't cover the the kitchen as well so the benefits with this one of course you get this coverage all the way around from the door to the to the kitchen and the other thing that uh, that we've got which is the the walls that can go up on this so there's four walls so there's a there's a wall that goes across here by the door there's another wall here um, then one here and then one on the the far side of the kitchen there and we tend to put up a, a wall depending on where the wind's coming if the wind's blowing in the kitchen we might put one wall up we don't normally put all the walls up and fully enclose it unless the weather's really bad but um, but you can do that as a as an option now one of the the benefits with the the the, the foxwing awning from Oztent is in the middle here we've got these pull down straps and um and that gives it gives more stability in the wind but also the 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 big feature is the the rain runoff so often you'll find with the with the square awnings you get the water that pools in the in the middle and you sort of need to lift that up to get the the water out so this is good in in all weathers and uh, it's been raining quite hard over the last few days and the water just be peels off through through the middle section of each um, each bit of the canvas so so that works that works really well so this is a option for the side of the bush camp and we'll go around and have a look at the the awning on the other side here which is the fully enclosed awning on the side So as you can see this is quite a quite a big side awning now this is actually custom made for the bush camp and we'll show you that inside in terms of how it fits but it gives you a fully enclosed awning on the sides and um, quite a quite a lot of space quite a lot of usable usable space now the uh, the benefits with this one is a canvas canvas awning nice and waterproof nice and sturdy big big sort of tie down guy in points uh, really nice pegging points as well and a nice skirt as well to, to keep the weather out and let's go and have a look on the inside and you can see you can see what it's like so this is it on the inside you can see it's it's quite a big space and uh, we were measuring it the other day just for the for a ground sheet and we've got uh, we've got across here just uh, just over two and a half meters and uh, coming that way we've got just over four and a half meters going out to the front and it, and it tapers out a bit at the at the front end and you can see the height of it it is um i'm uh, one meter 76 and um you've got you've got quite a bit of headroom because it's lifted up above the above the bush camp so you can see where it attaches here there's a there's a bit of sail track that runs right the way around the teardrop shape of the of the bush camp now to put this on and up that's the first thing you do you thread in you thread this in all the way around and then you build the the frame on this way it's literally two hoops and then you've got the three um the three poles that come along the roof and one at the front so it's sort of fairly easy fairly easy to fit together and these hoop poles are all are all joined so they just uh, they just come out with each other now the way it's designed it has as it, as it comes down the side here you can see it sort of fills in where you would normally have a gap and then it also comes with two skirts that fit either side so you actually get a fully enclosed awning and then you know you can select a, a mesh ground sheet or whatever ground sheet you prefer to go on the go on the floor there lots of nice windows so big big open windows and the actual door panels the, the sorry the window panels zip off 
So if you decided that you didn't want to fully enclose it and you wanted to take the two panels off there, you wanted to take one of the panels off at the front or two of the panels off at the front, you can do. So you can actually open it out or enclose it in. We'll probably tend to try and keep the keep everything zipped in just for easier for, for putting up. And um, most of the time we'll probably have it enclosed apart from the, the door area. And then on the outside, so we've got these uh, these plastic windows and on the outside you'll see the, the canvas zips that come over and um, fill in all of the, the plastic area so you can um, you give you that, that, that bit of privacy at, at night time. So that is the, the fully enclosed awning. And you know, with the, with the bush camp, there's so many different ways and different styles you can camp with, with awnings. And um, some people just simply use a, a gazebo on the back and they'll cover the kitchen or potentially a gazebo on the side. Um, or some of the, uh, the drive away um, camper van style awnings as well. But um, th they never fit quite as well because you don't get the, you don't get the shape and the enclosed in space just like this side awning. So it's probably, this is probably the awning that we'll personally use for maybe longer trips, long weekends, and also when we're away for, uh, away for a week at a time to set up, set up base camp. So it certainly gives you that really good space out the weather. So it's just certainly worth having a look at as, a, as an option if you are looking at a, at a bush camp. And, um, and then think about the style of awning that you'd want to cover the, the, the kitchen um, and the other side. So that is the, the awning options with the bush camp. Thanks for watching the video.